family, y'all already know what time it is. Good video for y'all today, man. It's raising with randoms as usual. I'm playing with Reggie Miller, my uh, my pure sharpshooter. But the thing I wanted to talk about today and what the video is really about is people pulling up with three centers with confidence. I feel like, okay, look, if you're going to pull up with an all-center lineup, you should be able to do it. It's a video game. You should be able to do anything that you want to do. I got no problem with that. But that said, you should not be able to do anything that you want to do and expect to win. Like I said, you should not be able to pull up with JaVale McGee, Hassan Whiteside, and the, and the process and be able to win a game. Like, and, and not, not be able to win. Yeah, you should be able to win, but you should not be expecting to win. People are coming out here. Dudes pulled up on us today. They had a pure rim protector at the three, I mean, at the two spot. They had at the point guard. They had an athletic finisher or something like that. And then they had, obviously, in everybody's big stretch big at the three. And that's who I'm playing. And it's just like they came out there expecting to win. And I think the only reason that they didn't win is because one of them lagged out. Full disclosure, I don't even care, though. I'm not showing mercy when somebody lags out. You shouldn't have pulled up like that. That was the 2K gods saying this is retribution. But at any rate, what I'm saying is, even at the LA Fitness, YMCA, 24-hour hoops, all that stuff, man. Look, wherever you bum ass play basketball at, right? There's nobody pulling up with an all-center lineup and expecting to win. It happens, but if you don't have somebody that can at least handle the ball halfway decently, they're not going to win. Most lineups in the LA Fitness or anywhere, people always say, look, we gotta get somebody, oh, we got, we got shooters, we gotta get a big man and somebody to handle the ball. That's what everybody says before we even start playing basketball. I gotta have a big man, somebody to handle the ball, and we probably need a shooter or, or, or another shooter or at least somebody that plays really annoying defense. That's it. We don't need all that other stuff. If we get a shooter, somebody plays annoying defense and a big man, we good. Nobody in the history of basketball ever said, hey, we got we got three big men, we good, man. I mean, unless those guys would like to play it on the college basketball team, but those guys are exceptionally skilled, so those, they are actually, you got somebody 6'7 on the basketball team, 6'8, probably 6'10, they can handle the ball better than the average person. And I guess somebody could probably argue, well, these are supposed to be professional players, but the guy that's defending him is a professional player too. So while JaVale McGee, or, you know, Hassan Whiteside and all those guys can handle the ball against you. They can't do it against Kyrie or somebody like that. They'll take the ball from them or they'll make them pick it up. Or they will just, you know, they're going to make them turn it over some kind of way. Anyway, man, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I already talked too long. Make sure you leave me a like. And uh, if you like this new format of how I'm doing this thing, man, let me know. Uh, and let me know down in the comments. And also, let me know your feelings on big men handling the ball uh, down in the comments, too. If they couldn't do it, I don't think stretch bigs and all the other stuff, lockdowns and all that stuff will be a big issue because... That's why, because you can throw the ball out. But that's all. That's a whole other video. Hey, let's just get right into it. Got it. Why is it so hard to find games on NBA 2K19? And we are in, what is it, June, July, something like that? I don't know, man. I think what's more impressive than that is, it's people that have lost more games than not have played. Like, I mean, I'm mean, I, not, not saying that I got, like, a great percentage of anything like that. But let's be real, man. Bro, how you elite with a negative record? Okay. Well, I got a pure stretch right. Okay, so look, this is what I'm talking about right here. Three centers. Bro, how you gonna come out here with three centers? At no level of basketball does that work. None. But hey, at the 2K level, it works. Right! I don't get it. I don't. I don't. How you gonna come out here with three centers? And then the stretch probably gonna be the one handling the ball. And the thing is, because you can dribble glitch, they don't even have to worry about anything. But yeah, you gotta worry about something today, brother. Cause look, 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 what, what can they do against them? Well, family quit the match. I don't know why he did, but we don't show no mercy around here cause I got scrubbed. I got two bots, y'all just got one, so. Hey, we'll go with it is what it is. Look at that, going to the ram on it, yes! I don't, hey, it, it just is what it is, man. Look, he's probably gonna come up, like, I, I don't even get it, like, I can't take the ball from him, can't do anything. I don't care about the dribble glitch. The dribble glitch is not why, why they're able to do what they're able to do. Cause people was doing it at the beginning of the year before the dribble glitch was even a thing. He can't shoot that, so we're not worried about that. Yeah, that's what should happen every single time without equivocation. He should lose the ball 
fall out of bounds when he tries to do a dribble move. You ain't never seen JaVale McGee or anybody like that doing dribble moves just cooking. You ain't seen it. You haven't. Ooh, cut. Oh, I thought he was going to cut. You have not. You just haven't seen that, man. Like, you ain't seen nobody ever really playing without guards, whether it be a L.A. Fitness right or otherwise. You have not seen anybody playing with either five big men out there or something like that unless one of them can somewhat handle the ball. But it is what it is. The AI player, he's calling. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I got defensive stopper. You probably don't. Oh, there we go. Look, oh, look at the pass. Go to the rim. Right. Boy, I am out here. I got eyes on the back of my head, boy. I say I got eyes on the back of my head. Y'all already know what it is. But anyway, like I said, like, I, it, I don't know. I really don't even understand how anybody could probably try to argue with this. I, we know how to stop that weak, that, that, that thing that you guys call the things. They're going to they gonna get killed down there. I understand that. And what they should do is let me go down there and maybe I can probably try to defend them or something. Let me get out of the way. One quick pass. He going, you know he going to the rim. Right! Well, that's all he's been doing the whole time is going to the rim. But I, it is what it is. He shot that! Yellow contest. Get out there and play D. I'll get the board. Get out there and play D. I'll get it this time, I promise. Stay on him! Look at that. He should be losing the ball or he should be forced to pick it up. That was the difference. In 2K17, when you made that movement right there, you picked the ball up. And then you were useless after that point. Like, that's really what it was. If he gets killed one more time, I'm going to tell him to. Oh, yeah. He hit that. Hey, get the uh, stretch. I'm going to get the, uh, I'll get inside. Not going to be able to get to him. Trey ball. Trey's up. Splash time. I'm going to let him score all the points. Yeah, pick up the stretch. I'll pick up the big man. Sometimes you got to coach your team to victory. He, he, he acting like he about to be able to do something. Okay, the stretch shooting from half. Big shots from half. Oh, yeah. Corner. Oh, what you doing all that for? Kick it to the corner. He's Bro, you getting fired by the AI. <laughs> you can't even keep the... All right, watch me hit him with this. He gonna think I'm gonna hit him with, with the back and forth. But I ain't going back and forth with you. Oh, oh, got him. That right there. That right there, bro, that right, that right there. All right, is he, let me see what he is. That right there, bro, is is like some of the most annoying stuff in the game. Right, he thought I was gonna pass the ball, he made the wrong decision, he jumped and he, it don't matter though. We got my shot creating lock out here, hooping, hooping. And these guys about to get dispatched. Let me see if I can go down here. And the thing is, if they had, if that other center was here, we probably would be getting smashed right now. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Quick pass, and in a hurry. One time, he shot that and hit it, yes! Boy, these randoms out here carrying, carrying, bye. These randoms out here carrying, carrying. Hey, my dude was getting destroyed in the post, and he's a lock. Oh, you want him? That then. You getting destroyed now, not my brother. That should be a steal. Get that shot out of here! God, he want to defend him, I'm a lock. Bro, that stuff is not gonna help you. That dude say we lay over those. Lay over those. Pass it up top. Ooh, green bean money team. What these dudes is open. These do Like I said though, they got they got one bot. I got two. It is what it is. I can't even call these dudes bots no more, man, because they actually doing something. Like if they wasn't doing it, I'd be like, yeah, these bots. Big bots. Hey, you're gonna have to pass that ball. That's what I'm saying. That was the difference. If you, like, I think in, in, even in 18, if you made a move that you weren't capable of making, you would pick the ball up. Like, he would just straight up pick the ball up and then, and so I think that's really the difference in this game. This game, they just make you stumble, but you still have control of the ball. It's not like, it's not like when the dude stumbles, that's a good time to reach or anything like that. The stumble is just purely aesthetic and it just wastes time. They are getting laid down there. It's just aesthetic and it just wastes time. The stumble don't really do anything. If the stumble made you pick it up like like last year, it'll be cool. Can I get the ball? Can I get the ball? Because I, I mean, I am wide open. My guy's on you. That means I'm wide open. But we got tunnel vision, so. Oh, that black boy. We got tunnel vision. We, we're not going to give it to you, uh, Glee, because that was just dumb. My guy's on you. I'm wide open and I'm a shooter. 
and you just straight up. Mm -mm. That's something else. Oh yeah, big buckets, big buckets down here. That's something else that I wanted to change too, man. After that, after after rebound stealing, bro, they got to do something with that. We, we know you just want to go opposite ball hand. That's how you defend uh, people that can't dribble. You just stay on their opposite ball hand because they're not hitting that. That's the only quick movement that they have is their opposite ball hand, right? So they always going to want to get to that. And he, I am about to say, he is killing y'all down there. Give me the ball. Oh, my goodness. Okay, can I get it now? I got to pass that back out because they ain't doing that much, huh? Well, y'all not about to win this game. Go to the Rams now. Oh, yeah. Big buckets down there. Hey, sometimes you got to get them out of here quick, fast, and in a hurry, man, in an orderly fashion as well. Expeditious is my Negro. That's what I say. But like I said, man, like, even though I wonder what they got. Oh, that was the rim that kept running. Okay. I, the rim was scoring like that? Listen, man, if you have a team with no ball handler, you should have effectively zero chance to win the game. It, that's just how it should be. You should, there's, there's no ifs, no ands, no buts about it. Like every game where they don't have a ball handler should go something like that. It shouldn't be any, oh, we got a chance because we can do this and we can do that. You know, bro, you, you just shouldn't be able to dribble, period. But that is my opinion, man. What's y'all's opinion? I'm going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, doesn't seem like anybody else is coming around. Those guys are suffering from post-loss paralysis. So uh, we just going to let them ride. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Oh, they broke the court. They so salty that they broke the court because I can't even step off. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. <laughs> Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Hello. Six that this month.